In this video, we'll go over everything you need to know before planning your fishing trip in Miami. You'll hear from some of our captains about their experiences fishing in Miami and what sets this city apart from the rest. After watching this video, you'll have all the information you need to pick your charter and hit the Magic City's coast for an epic adventure. Miami is the second biggest tourism hub of the United States, a close second after New York City. It hosts one of the world's busiest ports and is known as the cruise capital of the world. Miami rose out of the water like magic, earning its nickname the Magic City after experiencing rapid growth in the 1920s. Out of the 23 million visitors that come each year, only a select few are lucky enough to experience the city's amazing fishing. We all know Miami is famous for its sunshine, margaritas, and white sandy beaches. However, the city has a much wilder side that is hidden from most of its tourists. Just a short boat ride away and you'll be able to salsa down Sailfish Alley with Miami's skyline still in the background. So Miami presents a real special fishing opportunity for anglers. You can go offshore, catch sailfish, come inshore, catch snook, tarp, and bonefish, and even in the freshwater peacock bass. So it's really a great place to fish because you have so many opportunities. I just love it here. It's a great place to visit. Miami is hot year round and so is the fishing. Whether you're planning your trip around Christmas time or summer break, you're in for a real treat. In the winter time in Florida, which is 70 degrees instead of 90 or 85, you can catch Spanish mackerel right here in the bay. When spring starts to roll around, bay and flats fishing remain hot, and nearshore and offshore action start to heat up as well. Mahi-mahi and tuna flood the waters as the Gulf Stream funnels big pelagic species along the coast. On our trips, we go out, we catch sailfish, kingfish, tunas, Whatever happens to be biting at the time, we want to make sure everybody has a fish on the end of their line. There's an old saying in the business, a bending rod is a smiling face. Inshore fishing charters in Miami are perfect for beginners and families with kids. You'll be fishing in calm, protected waters, making you much less likely to get seasick. You'll also be close to town, so even a half-day trip can reap lots of great catches. Just a 40-minute drive from the city center, you'll be fishing the Florida Everglades, targeting species such as goliath grouper, redfish, hermit, bonefish, tarpon, and spotted sea trout. Other popular fish include the exotic peacock bass and sneaky snook, both of which are extremely fun to catch on a fly. A short boat ride from the dock will have you fishing the Biscayne Bay, battling a range of big game species including barracuda, cobia, and various types of inshore shark. But I really love inshore fishing in Biscayne Bay. And the reason is that you can catch all different kinds of fish. I've caught tarpon, bonefish, speckled sea trout, mangrove snappers, and they are delicious for dinner. So Miami fishing is really cool because we could travel only two to three miles offshore and we're catching all your pelagic fish. If you're looking for some serious sport fishing, you have to check out what the locals refer to as Sailfish Alley. Once you reach the fishing grounds, you'll have your choice of techniques to choose from, including trolling, bottom fishing, and fly fishing. So this presents a really special opportunity to present either flies, artificial or live bait to these tarpon for our best chances on catching them. And we usually catch in the range of 20 pound fish to even up to 100 pounds. Lots of captains offer more advanced techniques as well, such as deep dropping, which require electric reels and other deep sea equipment. This type of tackle is designed to reel in big offshore fish such as tuna, sailfish, and marlin. Miami charters typically range from half day trips, which are about four hours long, to full day trips, which last up to eight hours. Our full day trip is pretty hard to beat. With a full day of fishing, we could really navigate as far as we need to to locate the fish on some days. Although a uh, half day, even a three quarter day, all work out pretty well. Sometimes we just get some pretty good fishing in, but the full day definitely is, is the way to go. Charter operators usually include everything you need for fishing, such as rods, reels, tackle, and bait. Just remember to bring sunscreen, a hat, sunglasses, and comfortable clothing. You should also pack food and drinks, as well as a cooler to put your fish in after the trip. Bug repellent is also a good idea if you plan on inshore fishing. 
All saltwater charters are licensed to cover everyone on board, so there's no need to purchase a fishing license on your own. Just come straight to the dock, bring any personal items you may need, and you're all set. If you plan on fishing in freshwater or even brackish water, keep in mind you'll have to purchase a fishing license on your own. Just remember, when it comes to fishing, some days are more successful than others. There's no guarantee that you'll reel in a boatload of fish, but one thing is guaranteed. You'll create lasting memories with your friends and family in one of the most beautiful and exciting cities in the world. So pack your bags and fight the family. Visit fishingbooker.com and start planning your Miami getaway today. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe.